Welcome back. It's time for another Take Two with Therese and I've got two beautiful floral panels to share with you today. And I'm using the Dog Rose panel. This is an A and a B die. So you can actually layer them together or you could use them independently. Uh, I just want to show you the size of the die. It's not like a cover die. It doesn't cover the whole front of a card, but it does make a real statement on your card design. It can be like the main focal point. So a really beautiful die. I'm going to start by creating a watercolour effect in the background. There's some nice bright colours. And I've got a couple of sheets of the... It's the watercolour paper pad. This is from Altenew. It's 100% cotton, cold pressed. It's 140 pound. It is a nice thick watercolour cardstock and holds up to lots of water. And I'm making a mess here and... <laughs> I can't st I don't know if you're like me. I don't like getting ink on my fingers. <laughs> so I went and got a pair of gloves and that made me happy. So I am spritzing the pieces of watercolour cardstock and adding my colour. Now this is with the watercolour brush marker refill, so they're beautiful bright colours. And what I'm doing here is waiting for it to dry in between and then adding some more colour. And I did actually look at the picture and worked out roughly where I wanted the colors to be a little bit deeper and added those and then I could just set these aside to dry and once that had happened <laughs> I simply did the die cutting so I started by die cutting the B plate from my yellow and green sort of piece of cardstock here and I've got one of these brush tools and I did use my metal shim when I was die cutting this out because it is quite an intricate die, especially with all those little holes um, in the center of the flower where the sort of stamens are for the flower flowers. It's multiple. And then I did cut down my red pink panel and uh, use some liquid glue to hold them together. Now I just use little dots of the liquid glue because I don't want them to ooze out the sides. And this is a matte medium. And I couldn't work out here <laughs> what I'd done wrong. But I had it turned upside down, didn't I? I was wondering why it just wasn't looking right. Luckily, I hadn't actually set it down on top. But the matte medium does dry matte. So that does help. You wouldn't probably really have seen it. So now my layers together, I did actually go around the outside with a black marker. And the sentiment today, I'm going to white heat emboss on some jet black cardstock. And this is from the Statement Flowers stamp set. And all that's left to do on this card is pop my panel and my sentiment up on the front of the card. And I do like to use the black foam squares behind my black sentiments. That way they're less visible, I find. But you could certainly use whatever you have. Alright, so... Now it's time to get going on my second design, which is kind of similar, but different. This time I wanted to add that watercolour look again, but I decided to do it with design paper. And this is the set called Alluring Blooms Paper Pack. And I wanted it to be fairly subtle, not quite as bright as my other design. So I just sort of placed, worked out where I wanted my image to be on the design paper and um, die cut the B plate out again and I used my brush tool, it seemed to work very well and then this time I decided to actually add a frame and make my die cuts like filling in the negative space, you'll see what I mean in a moment. So to create my frame I actually just die cut the A die out of the center of a piece of pale grey cardstock, I know it's going to fit beautifully and I just wanted to show you here, I was playing with some layers and did really like the look of having a black background here and adding either the pale grey to the top or a white, but I didn't do that in the end. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, just in case you like that, tell me if you did or didn't like that compared to what I actually end up doing here. I... Like I said, I wanted this to be layered up. So I'm actually, this very top, or the A die here, I've actually cut it three times. So the jet black is my top layer, and then I've got two layers of white 
cardstock just that was the 80 pound in the white the Nina and I've layered those together and now I want to layer this on top of the design paper which has sort of a shiny finish so I did use my liquid glue here just to be sure I know that's going to hold really strongly and then I laid it up again and again <laughs> and it still wasn't high enough so I've added some foam tape on the back I just wanted it to have that gap between that and the design paper piece that I chose to sit on the very background instead of the black I thought I liked the black outline on top for this for these colors for some reason I don't know I think I preferred it now to line up this centerpiece what I do what I did was temporarily here my gray border on the front of my card and then lay that in place and then I added the fun foam to the back of my border and I can just attach that on top I've got a sentiment that I've white heat embossed here from the sentiment strips 2 set I did it in pink which I initially thought might look nice but I didn't like it so I did it in black and I preferred that one I just thought I'd show you the two options I tossed these cards around for ages and really they were quite simple to make and lots of fun so if you like this video click on the thumbs up button to let us know that you did and if you haven't already it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel here there's always lots of inspiration and I look forward to seeing you back here again real soon till then bye